Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to talk about hybrid stringing and will the stiffness matter in your play, in your racket's durability, in your arm's durability, and how often you should really string a hybrid of poly and multi. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, coffee sponsor of today is Ethan Luther. Ethan writes, I've been watching your videos every day since I've come across your channel and, of course, subscribed. I appreciate all your detail in each video, whether it's about a racket, strings, bags, or anything in the tennis community. I hope I can get some tennis spin merch here in the future. But truly, thank you for the amazing videos. Keep up the amazing work, and I hope you have a great week. Oh, thank you, bud. Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate you writing me that note, and I appreciate the coffee. Thank you so, so much. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all in advance for that. Link is below. If you want to just hook me up, there's a button down below called Super Thanks. Just click on the button. You can hook me up as little or as much as you'd like. All right? I appreciate you. Equator blend in the house. All right. So this video is actually... Um, from a question from Scott Duncan. So Scott writes in the subject, racket damage due to hybrid string combinations. Scott writes, you've recently released two videos that got me thinking. Um, why rackets break? One point you raised was the change in loading of the tennis frame when the mains and the cross are strung significantly different tensions say four to five pounds different. The stiffer strings will carry more of the load. It makes sense that the hoop won't be in balance anymore. Number two, he, he says, when you restring a multi um, poly hybrid, this video explains how different types of strings lose tension at different rates. Therefore, even if string loads were balanced after stringing, they won't be for long if different types of strings are used. All right, so here's the deal. This video made me wonder how some hybrid string combinations may cause problems for the frame, especially when two strings have very different stiffness ratings. For example, Selenko Confidential versus Gamma Professional. I'd imagine the stiffer string would absorb the bulk of the load at impact and cause more strain. Can you share some thoughts on this? Should we be more careful about the string combinations we combine? That is a great, great question. So Scott, I see that we're talking about my favorite string here, confidential, and probably in my opinion, the best multi on the market. So I feel like the characteristic of this, I mean, is stiff. Yes, it is a semi firm, stiff polyester string. And it does have, you know, a good high rating on stiffness. This is obviously not going to be as stiff as this by a good amount, right? Because you got hard and you got soft. But I feel like when you put these two together, you kind of have a good harmony. 
Yes, you are right, Scott, that this will be stiff and cause more spin, though. So this is what's giving you spin. This is what's making the ball turn over. This is going to quiet the um, vibration. This is going to quiet the vibration down. So the combination of the two, you got ebony and ivory put together in harmony. So the strings that you chose for, for me to actually do, they actually work very well together. I would, you know, this would be one of the ultimate hybrid combinations that I would do. Um, and, you know, to tell you the truth, I would say this would not affect your racket as much as, you know, you're worried about. Um, yes, this is stiff and yes, this is soft, but I feel like the tension maintenance of both of these are right there. I mean, this will obviously lose tension faster, but I mean, if you're using this kind of combination, I would say you probably don't want it in the racket for more than, I would say a month to six weeks anyways, because you know, the, the confidential would have lost, I'd say at least 10 to 15 pounds. The, the professional would have at least lost five to 10 pounds. And by then, it wouldn't be as good as it was when it was fresh anyway. So um, I would say this combination is a great combination. And just, just change it in that six-week mark. Then you'll be fine. Um, to address your stiffness issue, I think that if you had a different poly main that are, that's softer, then I think we, we would run into some issues. If you had a soft poly main and the synthetic was professional, then that poly would like fall off that cliff within a week or two, uh, depending on how much you play. And then there may be some, you know, remnants of damage to the racket, uneven load to the crosses, uh, maybe a little bit of pain to your arm because I mean, I've cut out so many rackets before where I cut out the, the pot, oh, excuse me, I cut out the multi and they would go ping, ping, ping. So there's tension on that. But when I get to the, uh, the polys, there is zero tension. There is nothing holding anymore. So the whole racket is pretty much being held by the multi itself. That's where tension is directly and only coming from. So that's what I'm saying. If you're going to use a soft poly with a soft multi, probably want to restring that every three to four weeks, like every month, you're probably going to have to restring it given that you play a good amount. If you don't play a good amount, like let's say once a week, probably need to get that restrung probably once every three months, okay? Once a week, I would say every three months. If you're using a soft poly, like Hybrid G or Polytor Pro, um, Wilson Revolve, any of those soft things, anything that says soft is going to going to fall off that cliff in terms of tension um, fairly, fairly quickly, okay? But I feel like these two are probably going to be good together, okay? But again, you're going to feel this being stiff, though. So for those of you who are, who are like, oh, it's too hard, it's too stiff, I don't like it like that, well, then you should use that softer string, and it won't hurt you. It won't, but it may hurt your racket faster by squeezing in this way, okay? So once a week, three months. If not, if you play more than that, try a month to two months, get rid of that soft string. Thank you to Scott for that question. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin. 
where we put our spin on your tennis. Sky, great playing today, man. Thanks. Good hitting. Oh, thank you. My arm doesn't feel right. Uh oh. Interesting. I got something. Hang on, hang on. See? I don't feel a thing. Wow, my arm doesn't feel a thing. It feels great. See? I told you. All right, Harry, one more shot. I'm gonna go real big. Great! Yeah! <laughs>